What's up guys, it's Bucky and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tour of my house because a couple people have asked me to do it so I figured why not, it'll be interesting. But before I begin I just want to show you guys the most gross sunburn that I got the other day at the beach. So there you go, but anyways let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So here is my bedroom, not that interesting, just so you know here's my bed right there. All my clothes, I actually keep all my clothes on a bookshelf. A lot of people like to keep them in their closets or in a dresser, but how convenient is that where you can see everything already, you know, I just think it's a lot more convenient. And, you know, some posters, I got that one and that one. I like posters of cities for some reason. And I got two computers in my uh, bedroom. This one right here is, of course, my laptop whenever I need to go anywhere on vacation or travel. I take that with me. And this is my desktop, one of my favorite computers. I named it R2D2 because of its looks and this is actually where I make a lot of my physics tutorials and chemistry tutorials because any of the lessons I do where I need to draw something like my physics tutorials I use that tablet right there actually I don't draw with the mouse I got a tablet instead and I'm still terrible at drawing so over here is my closet I just have all my professional clothes in there although I hate wearing them I think I feel I feel silly whenever I have to wear a button-up shirt but yeah, that's pretty much it. My bedroom. So now, uh, let's go ahead and see what else I got. So I might as well take you through my daily routine. So once I get up, I usually put a pair of shorts on because I sleep in my boxers. But then I come out here, go down this hallway, and this is my bathroom right here. I didn't think you guys wanted to see that. You know, just a toilet in there. A toilet and a shower and a sink. Normal bathroom. But then once I'm, you know, done brushing my teeth and everything, I come out here and here's my little dining room table. I assume that an average family would have, you know, chairs around it, but I really don't have any kids to feed. So I just got my Mac, you know, all my Apple stuff that I needed to plug into here. And for all you Apple haters, I actually needed to get one because this is where um, I use this computer to teach all my Objective-C and iPhone development. So of course you need a Mac for those, so that's why I got that. And let's see, some old Powerade, and aside from that, this is just a pretty normal kitchen. I have my sink, and that's my dishwasher, oven, refrigerator. I won't even show you guys my refrigerator because it's pretty embarrassing. I really need to go shopping sometime soon. The only thing I don't like about my kitchen is my floor creaks. This one, incredibly bad. So whenever you're walking on it, it sounds like, I don't know, it's just really annoying. But anyways, that's my kitchen. Not all that interesting, but there you go. Now my living room, on the other hand, is actually very interesting, or maybe not so interesting, but it definitely is kind of unique. So let me go ahead and show you that. So my living room is actually right outside my kitchen. We're in my kitchen right now. Walking over to my living room. First, looks pretty normal. Little chair, couch, little love seat, lamp, and, you know, a little my, my camera because I'm a wannabe photographer right now. And here's my TV that goes in my living room, and I actually don't have cable because, I don't know, I don't watch any TV at all. I think it corrupts your brain. So I just have movies and read books, of course, but whenever I have friends over, we watch movies on that. Fireplace, that doesn't even work. And this big hunk of whatever is actually my isolation tank, or some people may call it a flotation tank or sensory deprivation tank. I'll do a whole other video on this later on. But let me go ahead and show you guys the front of it. So this thing is actually huge. I can actually stretch out in it, like reach my hands all the way up and I won't even be touching the edges of it. But inside is about 2,000 pounds of water and 2,000 pounds of salt and the water and the air are both heated to the exact temperature of your body. And it's also completely soundproof and completely lightproof so once you get in, you can't hear anything, you can't see anything, you can't feel anything because the water is the exact same temperature as your body. So basically, you get in there and you have nothing coming into your brain and it's like your brain supercharged, like meditation 2.0. People can actually start going crazy in there, but if used right, it's one of the most useful, definitely one of the greatest investments I ever purchased. And you know, here are all the pumps and stuff filter for the water and such but anyways I kind of want to do a whole nother video on the tank because I don't know I just think it's awesome 
And this one's pretty cool because the stereo, if you play music on it, you won't hear anything because I can plug my iPod into here and the music goes right into the tank. It actually has speakers and stuff built in so I can listen to, you know, audio books and it's just awesome. So anyways, that's my living room which basically consists of a TV, a couple of love seats and a huge isolation or sensory deprivation tank. Now, the only other two rooms I have upstairs are pretty much just, uh, you know, offices or studios, whatever you want to call them. I'll show them to you right now. So, going back in my hallway, away from the living room, this is probably the main room where I make most of my tutorials, my computer programming tutorials, and, you know, my Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials. Let me turn the light on. And, oh, look at this. All of my books right here. So whenever I moved up from North Carolina, I had to get rid of like half my books, but here's what I have left. All of these, and all of those ones over here. So there's my little collection that I had to cut in half, but aside from that, I have two computers. This one is probably my oldest computer, but it's one of my favorites still. This is where I do the majority of my video editing on that one. And whenever I want to teach a new tutorial, I teach it on this one right here so there you go there's that and down the hallway a little bit again this is where my bathroom was and that's my bedroom to the right already looked at that but in here is I don't know what do you want to call it my podcasting studio basically whenever Joby comes out and we do a podcast we do it in here show you guys around we got his computer right here and then we got the webcam over there so we can stream it live and we got my computer right there, the red one. 